What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. Well, it seems like Cody can't catch a break. <laughs> After WrestleMania gets screwed out of being becoming the undisputed champion, we start off the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania. Roman gloating about his win. Cody comes out there, and he basically wants a rematch, which you would think, obviously. And, of course, they don't agree to it. So, he says, you know what, let's, let's, I need, I need some type of, some type of get back. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get some type of revenge. Let's have a tag team match. You and Solo versus me and, you know, a partner of my choosing. And then they add the stipulation. All right, you can have a partner. They had to have wrestle at WrestleMania. And whoever that partner is, they can't ever challenge for Roman Reigns championships or whatnot. So the list is very slim here. And it has to be someone that's willing to not challenge for Roman Reigns championships at any point while he's a champ. And then Brock Lesnar music hit. So... We're like, okay, this is an interesting pairing. He's excited to be out there with Cody. We're about to have us a tag team match at the end of the show. Now, midway through the show, the Usos weren't there. So they end up walking into Roman Reigns' uh, little locker room area. And pretty much Paul Heyman stops him. Paul Heyman's like, nah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You, got, you, know, you guys, you know, did your best at WrestleMania. Um, but right now, you know, Roman's talking to Solo. They're coming up with a game plan. And, uh, you know, you guys are good for tonight. We got the jet already fired up. Y'all can go ahead and hit out on the jet. And I like that. That's going to be important because the seeds are being planted. They are not the champions anymore. And Roman's going to start treating them very differently going forward because they're not champions anymore. So I'm I'm really loving the seeds they're planting here because the bloodline is the cracks are still there. Even though Roman's still the champ, the cracks, they're growing bit by bit. So I'm really interested to see what happens there. So we get to the main event. By the way, this Monday Night Raw was not that good. This was probably one of the worst Raw uh, after Mania episodes I've seen in quite some time. The first hour was pretty entertaining. After that, it fell off a fucking cliff. It didn't get more entertaining to the damn main event. It was only 10 minutes left on the show. So we get out there. Roman's entrance is like, and sorry, you know, you can see, I, I, you know, I got me a little sweat stain because I was fucking losing my mind on the live stream reactions. If you saw it, then you understand why. So, you know, I got a little hot. <laughs> but I want to say, um... Roman took forever on his entrance. He took like damn near 10 minutes alone. Cody had to do his entrance. Brock did his entrance. They're they're stalling for time at this point because they're introducing everybody one by one, their name, all this other stuff. And before the damn match can even really get on the way, and someone dub called it on, on the stream, and someone called it on Twitter, they said, I, I have a feeling... Cody's gonna get F5 by Brock. And that's what happened. Cody gets picked up and he gets F5 for his troubles. Not only does he get F5 for his troubles, he proceeds to get destroyed. Like he hasn't already suffered enough at WrestleMania. He gets destroyed by Brock Lesnar. I mean eviscerated. The dude was F5 through a table. He was hit with multiple chair shots. He was he was F5'd onto steel steps. Even when they brought out the paramedics, Brock Lesnar went down there and destroyed him even more with some chair shots and started choking the guy. I was just like, and it was such a beautiful moment in a sense of the crowd was hurt. They were hurt last night that he didn't win. Now they were just disgusted when they panned to all the fans that were shocked. They were, they were saddened. I was one of those individuals just shocked. 
saddened just looking at the carnage and how Brock had his way with him. And there was nothing anyone could do. And he, the question is why? Just because he just felt like beating the crap out of him. That brutal segment definitely had everybody shook. Definitely had people just like, what, what the hell did we just see? Um, and I see the comparisons. A lot of people are making the comparisons. This is his redemption arc. This is his really him going through the ringer arc. The comparisons to when John Cena lost at that uh, particular WrestleMania that Brock Lesnar came back on the Monday Night Raw afterwards. He came back and he, when John Cena was in the ring when he lost to The Rock the first time and he proceeded to beat the crap out of John Cena. That's exactly the comparisons here and I think that's the route they're going. Because everyone expects Cody to get that rematch. But they obviously weren't going to set it up now. So, this is where insert Brock Lesnar comes into the mix. Insert Brock Lesnar and Brock Lesnar destroyed him. We don't know why he destroyed him. Maybe we'll get some answers, but he destroyed him. So now it's going to be Cody trying to overcome Brock Lesnar. That's an interesting matchup. I don't even think they have ever faced each other, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if Cody and Brock has actually faced each other in in-ring competition. If you know, let me know. I don't remember, but this is a fresh matchup. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know if they're going to set it up at Backlash. Maybe they do. Um, and obviously, Cody's on the redemption arc to try to finish the story but he has to start pretty much he has to start all over <laughs> and right now he's starting with Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar beat the crap out of him so now he has to go through Brock and it'll be interesting to see if he has to go through anybody else to get back to Roman and I think that's what they're going he's gonna have to go through some tough tough situations tough times to finally get back to Roman and maybe just maybe by the time we get back to Roman Roman won't be the same guy that he is now. In fact, Roman will be different because he may not have the bloodline with him. And he's mentioned that. Cody's mentioned that in this promo. You've barely skated by because of people helping you, pretty much. So maybe this is the story, two stories that are happening that will collide once again. Roman, Roman's bloodline collapsing because of his ego and people starting to leave him. And Cody trying to overcome adversity of people kind of blocking him from getting back to that championship spotlight. To that championship spot. So it's really going to be interesting to see if Brock has a reasoning for what he, why he did what he did. And honestly, to see how they, they do this redemption arc, this, you know, back, from, you know, you know. Yeah, it's pretty much a redemption arc. You, you're trying to redeem yourself from not being able to get the job done at WrestleMania. You failed at WrestleMania, kind of like John Cena. He failed at WrestleMania, and he had to redeem himself that entire year to get back to, you know, where he was trying to get to. I don't know if they can plan this out for a whole nother year as Roman is champ, but it will be interesting to see what happens. But other than that, Raw was boring. That, that was, it was not, that, it was boring, bro. First hour was great. The last 10 minutes was just a complete car wreck in the destruction of Cody Rhodes. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy Monday Night Raw, the Raw after Mania? Also, are you guys interested in seeing a Brock Lesnar versus uh, Cody Rhodes feud? And where do you guys think it will lead to? Do you feel like this is the proper route for, uh, for Cody to kind of get that redemption art go through some some tough opponents to finally get the roman and also where do you guys think is uh what the situation is going with roman in the usos and their their relationship be, maybe on the horizon of the uh falling apart where do you guys think uh that situation is going to head to as well but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i am still going to be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all giving me see y'all next one peace